Cowboys. How about your Dallas Cowboys? How about yeah? How about them Cowboys? Right. How, how about, about them? It? Hey, listen, we started the season off early on, and we all were. Everyone was on the Giants and the Eagles yeah. and the defending the champs, Giants. and and the one guy over there with the, the over his hands over his face mm. was all about all about them Eagles to begin the season, and things have just happened to change. <laughs> they have. They certainly have changed. <laughs> all right, happened? let's. Let's talk about it. So, big game, obviously, this weekend. Dallas in first place, NFC East on the line. Who has more pressure on them, Stephen? <clears throat> Remember when you went Thursday night football, they played the Saints, <laughs> and you mm. predicted they had no chance and they won? That was good. You know that something? Was fun too. You know something? <laughs> I sit here and I just look for excuses uh, to hate on the Cowboys because I can't stand their fan base. I just yeah. can't. I can't. Everybody knows how disgusting and nauseating I feel they are. Uh, I can't stand Dallas Cowboy fans. I hate them with a passion. And I'll never apologize for that. Right. But I sat here yeah. thinking all week, you know, you know what, the Eagles could do this. This, yeah. this. this is the last chance. There's more pressure on them than the Cowboys. The Cowboys lose yeah, this game and tie. The Cowboys, the Cowboys the win this game. The Cowboys win this game. They, well, you always talk about pressure, not wins. Mm. We're talking about pressure. I said more pressure on the Eagles than the Cowboys because the Cowboys win. They lose. They're tied. They win. They're two games up on a team they would have beaten twice this year. The division is theirs because we know the Redskins might not win another game with Mark Sanchez as their quarterback. Having said all of that, then I see this guy, Grugia Hill, open his mouth. And now I can't come up with a reason that the Cowboys are going to win this game. Why would you do that? You just gave up a 90-yard touchdown run to Adrian Peterson. What do you think Ezekiel Elliott is going to do to you this Sunday? I'm here thinking just shut up and the Eagles just quietly roll into Dallas. Let all of this momentum build and fume and percolate. Let the Darren Woodsons of the world and everybody else run their mouth. Let Michael Irvin sweat someplace enough to fill a river, okay? And everything will be just fine. I'm messing with my brother. He knows what time it is. The point that I'm trying to make, he was at the fight with me, by the way, sitting right behind oh, me Lord. at the, the Tyson Fury. Together, that's scary. The fight. All I'm saying to you is this. I'm sitting back and I'm saying, let the noise go in Dallas's yeah. direction. Be quiet. Chill, calm down. They're feeling themselves, and then they'll and then they'll blow it mm. this weekend. And then this damn linebacker opens yeah. his mouth. What's the question? opens his mouth? Basically, oh, Stephen Lord. A. saying the pressure's on the Eagles, but he just no, the, couldn't answer the, it. The pressure the on the Eagles. The pressure is on the Cowboys. The Eagles mm. just won the Super Bowl. Well, the defending Super Bowl champs. No, a franchise who has maybe the most rabid fan base in the NFL. I mean, Eagles fans, that's their entire lives. Forget the Phillies, the Flyers, the Sixers. That town loves the Eagles. Their entire lives never saw them win a Super Bowl, and they just saw them win one. Pressure's not on the Eagles, and they're having a down year, Super Bowl slump, the whole thing. The Dallas Cowboys traded a first-round pick for Amari Cooper. Jason Garrett and the whole staff are coaching for their jobs. Dak Prescott may be playing for his job. He got Amari Cooper. He's got a receiving core. He's got a running back. He's got an offensive line. He's got an excellent defense. The winner of this game is likely going to win the NFC East. Correct. Mm. Stephen A. Smith is on TV yelling about the Dallas Cowboys yeah. nonstop. They have only won two playoff games in almost a quarter century. Mm. The pressure is on Dallas. They're at home. The pressure's on Dallas. More pressure is on Philadelphia in this game because of the fact the Cowboys did beat them earlier in the season. They need this game. They are the defending Super Bowl champs. And not only that, after this game, after this game, the next three games for the Philadelphia Eagles, Rams, Texans, and I don't know who the last, I think the Washington Redskins are at, at the end of the season. But the, Was but the Rams and the Texans are going to be tough, tough games for them, win, for them to win. Yeah, they need Washington. to go to Dallas. They need to go to Dallas and win this game football game. They are the defending Super Bowl champions. And I get it. The Cowboys are at home. There's a lot of pressure on the coaching staff to get this win and they can set themselves straight for the rest of, this, rest of the season by winning this game. But for the Eagles, they have to win this game in order to stay alive. If they don't win this game, they're packing up U-Haul. They're backing up the U-Haul trucks. That's over. Yeah, but right, but they just won. Like, the idea that they're su defending Super Bowl champs, so there's more pressure on them. If anything, it takes the pressure off. You just no. gave your town their no. first Super Bowl. When was the season. last time the Cowboys won a Super Bowl? You no. should know, Darren. I, 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 get you, I get you on that, but Peterson's been taking hits. I mean, you know, the rap, you know how these Philly fans are, Max. 
They, Peterson's been taking hits. He's been what taking Jason hits. Jason Garrett. Yeah, both of them have been, but Peterson and Philadelphia, they've been taking hits. Jason Garrett, listen, let me tell you this. Who's Jason coaching Garrett, for his job? Jason Is Garrett, Peterson coaching for his job? Oh, listen, if we, if we want to talk, uh, like, coaching for their jobs, for the last eight years, we've known that Jerry has given Jason Garrett a pass. Every not year, any, he'll right give him, and he'll give him another pass this year if they, if they. I, mean, not, I, think he's still, the I think he has longevity Max? going forward. You think regardless. he's worried about his job? The question no, is this is. for for Garrett: like, why would it be any different now? Because things are different now. Because they need to find out about the coach and the quarterback now. They're isolating those two. Let's see, and let me tell you who's going to go first: the coach. Because if you think you may have a quarterback, you're going to hold on to him. You may have a quarterback. You know you ain't got a coach. But you may have a quarterback. They traded their first round pick to find out. They're finding out right now. The pressure is on the Cowboys. Stephen A., let me ask you this. What do the Eagles need to do to pull off this win? Stop the run and and, and do something effective defensively. In three of the the last four games, they've given up over 400 yards of offense. And in six of the last seven games, they've they've surrendered more than 100 yards on the ground. Mm -hmm. They've got to find a way to neutralize Ezekiel Elliott in this game. They have to force... Dak Prescott to beat them, whether it's with Amari Cooper or Cole Beasley or somebody else. And, and you know, and, and by the way, I mean, obviously they got to do something offensively because that Dallas defense against New Orleans, I mean, sometimes you get up and it's real. real it, it, listen, I use, I use this word, these words all the time when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys being allergic to prosperity. Mm -hmm. When their backs are against the wall and you give them no chance, like I did against New Orleans, they rise up. But they just beat the Philadelphia Eagles three or four weeks ago. The expectation is for them to win. They're the three-and-a-half-point favorites in this game. I think that's the kind of thing that can count against them, but only if the Eagles can neutralize them in their running game.